let me explain how to make millions of dollars overnight easily through bigger pockets. I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you that today, but I can teach you five quick tips for networking. In other words, using bigger pockets to connect with other people on the site, like potential lenders or partners or mentors or just friends, so you can achieve your financial goals. My name is Brandon Turner, host of the Bigger Pockets podcast, and true story. I was actually one of the early members on Bigger Pockets years ago. I found the site through, I think, a Google search like a decade ago when I bought my first property. Since then, I've used Bigger Pockets and connected with enough people to grow a pretty massive real estate portfolio and bring in thousands of dollars a month in passive income. Now, to do that, I've had to partner with people on the site. I borrowed money from people. I've lent money to people on the site. I've received more advice than I could ever hope to repay. And really, I built up some solid lifelong friendships and colleagues through Bigger Pockets networking. Now, that fancy word networking, don't get overwhelmed with that term. All we're talking about here is connecting with other people who can help you achieve your goals and you can do it all together. So let's get to the list of the five tips for networking on bigger pockets. Number one, set up your profile. I mean, imagine joining like an online dating site, right? And you don't upload a picture or a description of who you are. Your chances of meeting Mr. or Mrs. Right, pretty slim. Bigger pockets may not be a dating site, but it is a networking site where you can potentially find uh, future lenders or partners or mentors or friends or others. So build out your profile with a nice photo, a good description of who you are and where you're headed. You know, it's okay if you're brand new to real estate. You don't have to be an expert to be here. We just want you to be open, honest, transparent. All right, tip number two, search for local investors in your area. Look, every location is unique, every location for investing. So it's helpful to connect with people in your local market to see how they are investing. To do this, just go hover over the word networking in the navigation bar and then go down to members. Now click on that. And if it doesn't automatically on the next page, pull up your local area. It does for me here, but just enter your city or your zip code to find local members. Or if you're going to invest long distance, type in the zip code or the area you're going to invest in. And then what do you do? Well, that takes us to tip number three, send a colleague request. A colleague request is kind of like a Facebook friend request. You're just connecting with other people so that you can chat together. Uh, you can see what they publicly post on the forums or on their, on their page, uh, and they can see the same for you. This is really, really important because these local investors, or, or maybe they're just soon to be investors, they may eventually become future partners or lenders or friends. It all begins with a colleague request, but this is super important. Don't use the message system there to send spam or you could lose your private message ability. I mean, look, think about it. If you walked up to somebody you never met at a bar and instantly were like, hey, I'm Brandon and I'm looking for a spouse and you're, you're here, so you wanna get married? Like, that would just be weird, right? Relationships aren't hard. You do it, like you do the normal, not weird stuff in real life all the time, I hope. So just do the normal, not weird stuff here on Bigger Pockets as well. All right, number four, attend a local real estate meetup. Now, whether in person or digitally, you know, if you want to be a good bowler, it helps to hang out with other good bowlers, right? If you want to be a good runner, yeah, go hang out with other good runners. If you want to succeed in real estate, then get together with others who are pursuing real estate. Now, at Bigger Pockets, we actually help you facilitate that networking, that connecting in person or maybe digital meetups with people in your local area. These meetups range from, you know, I've been to ones that have a few folks getting together for drinks uh, to having hundreds of people in an auditorium and everything in between. So to check out the events in your area, go over to biggerpockets.com slash events and register for an upcoming meetup. If you don't see one there, well, that could be a great opportunity for you to start your own. All right, tip number five, go post in the Bigger Pockets forums. Look, the Bigger Pockets forums are the lifeblood of Bigger Pockets. I, I mean, I can teach you a video on how to do real estate at a high level, but when you have very specific questions or you want to just engage in conversations about a topic, the forums are an amazing place to do that. Thousands and thousands of posts are made every day on hundreds of different topics. So just jump in, find something that interests you and just jump in. You know, if nothing else, go to the new member introduction forum and introduce yourself there. Just tell us who you are. And that's it. If you do those five steps and you do them often, you're going to be a networking pro in no time. Soon you'll develop some amazing relationships that will lead you toward the incredible life you were meant to live. For biggerpockets.com, my name is Brandon Turner. I'm going bowling. Oh. <laughs>